Alright, so, uh... We're about to pick a wrap here as we continue with more of this game. And I'm sure nobody's really wanting to watch, but you're watching it anyway. So, congratulations. First things first, let's get back to our next stage, which is stage three. The trap. Using Raf in this episode, for this whole area, is why the hell not? I'm going in order of the turtles I like. And there's a cutscene. So let's shut up and listen. Explain to me just what's going on here, Dr. Stockman. Hmm. I am already prepared to put the next plan into action. A plan that will take care of your little search and finish off those blasted turtle creatures while we're at it. Blasted turtle creatures, how rude of it. I just hope it goes well, Doctor. Hun, continue it's to assist Dr. Almost Dr. like Stockman watching this part plan. too. I must gain Only possession a whole of that lot sword worse. as quickly as possible. And Hun, eliminate anyone who interferes, whoever they may be. Yes, sir. Imbeciles. Now, what are these turtle creatures? Oh no! Seems Mr. Scientist is interested in things. Look at all this exposition! This mysterious turtle is huh? thought to be on the hey loose guys, in Manhattan. Hey guys! Look at this! Raph's showing off the over here. ...thought to be a member of this ring of thieves. This footage was captured by a security camera at the scene of the crime. Oh no, turtle, man. another are we turtle. turtle man, or are we giant turtles? It's not like we were crossbred with humans or anything. So Turtle Man isn't quite right. Is it, Donnie? Oh no. Keep it down, Mikey. Problems. We're trying to listen here. Shh. Here is the footage uh, of this Turtle Man. There you go, Leo. I don't know what that thing is, but if it's trying to imitate us, it should have a little better fashion sense. I mean, look, our shells are much more vibrant green, aren't they? Either way, as turtles, we've got to do something about this. All right, that's enough of that crap. I'm tired of watching. I want to get to the game. This is what you came here for, not some fucking crappy cutscene. Are you sure this is the place, Donnie? I'm sure it was somewhere around here. Bingo. It's them again. But it looks like they're just about to make their getaway. Yeah, standing around doing nothing is getting you away. You will get away with dishonoring us turtles. Do you have any idea why he's always like this, Leo? Couldn't he be a little more delicate? No. True, he's about as hot-headed as they come. But I don't like being dishonored any more than he does. <laughs> Who are these fools? I, see <laughs> I love that their, moves do, their mouths don't I've move. That's just about. so good. Who are we? More like, who are you? And get it right, we're turtles! Have you ever seen a lizard this good looking? Either way, you're still freaks. Where I stand, you look pretty freakish yourself. Tell me, just what did you eat to get that big? I've heard enough from you, lizard man. I can't let anyone who interferes with Master Shredder, lizard or otherwise, escape here alive. He is even a lizard. Them a warm they don't even look like lizards. Yes, they're reptiles, but come we on. You, we're turtles. I don't think he cares, Don. Or Mikey. These confusing ass controls I had to get used to again because I've been playing the new Turtles game that just came out instead of this crappy one. And this guy won't stop throwing shurikens at me. That's kind of annoying. This makes me wish I was playing the new Out of the Shadows Turtles game instead of this crappy game. So this is just friggin' terrible. And it's not even terrible because it's on the original Xbox. It just is terrible in general. Like, even at the time this was released, it was pretty bad. Feel that? 
No, he didn't feel it, Rap. You missed it. Why did it lead me down that path only for there to be nothing there? Come on. Oh, shit. What the hell? Look at the mine. Watch out, Raph's angry. Not that it's any different than the rest of the time. And again, let's just spawn a bunch of enemies right back where you were previously, but aren't anymore. That's like one of the biggest flaws of this game still, is just the fact that enemies just don't make any sense where they spawn at. It's been a long time since I remember doing this level, too. Well, at least Rap doesn't play too badly. Would go better if I didn't keep getting hit with shurikens every time I turn around. I still don't understand these controls. Why would the A button ever be your freaking attack? That doesn't, doesn't make any sense. I'm talking default controls here. I still can't get used to them. This is the problem with not playing the game for so long. Also because I haven't felt like it, or because I just haven't had the time to play it. Not that I'd want to play it, because look at this. Ugh. It's terrible. Amazing, a shuriken that actually kills an enemy for once. I can't imagine that's happened too often in this. Yeah, milkshake, and just being blasted onto a staircase. And another empty crate, apparently. That's always nice. The game's way of trolling. Not for the radar, I would never know where enemies are, honestly. When they just spawn somewhere completely random, way of where you are, not even on screen, and then they don't run on screen with you. Problems like that are very persistent and annoying. Oh, go around the truck! What is even the purpose of going down between these trucks? All you're gonna have to do is run back up ahead anyway. This doesn't make any sense. Again with the trolling crates, come on! Yeah, that's helpful, give me some flaming shurikens that I'm bound to lose in a second. Because I'm gonna get killed. They aren't just flaming shurikens though, they explode! And now I don't have them anymore, because I got killed by a foot soldier. Isn't that nice? It's the only time the game gave me a crate that actually had something in it, was when I'm about to die. Watch it, jerk. No, get out of here. I want none of these people dead way, the first time you hit them. Well, besides the foot soldiers, because they have an excuse. They're freaking robots. The rest of these guys, the purple dragons, are humans. And you're hitting them with a metallic, sharp weapon like a scythe. So why are they not dead or bleeding? 
Especially with Raph hitting them. Raph's not gonna take it easy on you. Oh look, a hell item. At a time I don't really need one. That was a fail. Jesus Christ, stop double teaming. Oh, a great... more shurikens. Apparently these foot with the bow staffs don't know how to attack close range unless you go near them, so they just stay at distance and use their shurikens on you. That was wonderful, Rat. At least on the bright side, not using Mikey means we don't have to deal with the eat feet comment repeated 500 times over. Instead, we get Raph insulting everybody. And again, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. Oh, never mind. You got killed! How oh, is it not a warm up? Whoa, that's an oversized transport helicopter. Awesome. Johnny. Yeah. Follow that semi. As Leo said, now is not the time for you and your obsession with technology. Bonus points. Hey, a new record. All right. Now to the trailer roof on area two. Oh no, look at that sweet truck animation. Oh baby. Look at those physics. We can go flying backwards when we're standing still, but never fall off the truck. Even though there's nothing holding us on top of the truck, we apparently cannot fall off of it. Even though gravity is telling us we cannot stay still on it. Oh, logic. May you rest in peace. Even just laying on the ground makes you move. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And then the enemies keep spawning further and further up the head on the semi. It just, just doesn't make any sense. This level is so stupid. Especially because all the enemies you're killing end up flying back to the, towards the end of the truck so that you're following them. And, uh, why would they create a level like this? Like, I don't care if it's part of the episode or not that it's supposed to be based on. This is just such a stupid level. Right, we're right back at the edge of the trailer again. Why even bother having the rest of this train if our truck trailer if we're not even gonna see the rest of it because we can't stay near it? It's just pointless. That, that took two minutes to complete. Alright, now for area three, the construction site. Hopefully this level goes quickly too, but it probably won't. Either way, let's get it over with. No, I don't feel that, Raf. What is it? Is it the stinging disappointment in this game?
Get over here. Come get some. Oh, well, don't really. Because there's not much to get. Oh boy, more shuriken throwers. Of course. When you're too focused on other enemies and not paying attention to anything else, a shuriken just flying at you out of nowhere is always good. I still don't really understand these invisible walls. Like, I get it. It's a beat em up game. They're not letting you progress until all the enemies are defeated. And because of the 3D environment, they're like, oh, we gotta do something to actually prevent you from going forward. Still. Oh, yeah, I've got this guy. Cloaking device. His gimmick is that he cloaks and goes invisible and then you can't see him. But if you knock him down, he immediately becomes visible again. So you can literally just do one move that knocks him into the air and he will not be cloaked ever again. And thus makes you wonder what was even the purpose of him being invisible in the first place. That's a pretty shitty cloaking device. Oh no, one purple dragon appeared, so I can't progress. Really? You need... I know the limit's like five or six enemies on screen. So why, when there was only five people, or three people on screen, did it not allow that one guy by himself to come? Some of this just does not make any sense. Even by beat em up game standards. It really does not feel like they were trying in this game at all. Almost. Alright, and apparently that just fell on its own for no reason. That's good. That means I don't have to trigger it for any reason now. Alright. Let's go forward. And almost run past the enemies because I don't care about them enough. Raph's got better things to do than beat up on these foot soldiers. Well, he probably doesn't actually. Might as well. I do hate these black and purple dragons, honestly. Because they're just annoying to deal with. Mostly because of their frequent attacks. At least the white guy with his bat isn't as annoying. What's the point of jumping up here if there's nothing up there in the first place? It's not even like it gains you any advantage over the enemies either. The enemies aren't gonna go up there. Oh boy, I'm faster. Well. Very nicely done, Rap. Who did that hit? It sounded like it hit me, but I was moving, so it didn't hit? I don't even know. Damn it, Raph, quit missing. Oh no, they're cloaked, I can't see them. Then again, they don't appear on the radar, so there's that. 
That isn't exactly good enough. Not when your whole gimmick is, oh, you can't see me. Grab the hamburger. It is fitting the way the ref says, now I'm mad, every time he does that spin attack, and if you get him knocked down first, and then you get up and do it, it's kind of like, perfectly timed. Technically, you could do it after any attack that hits him. It's kind of fitting regardless. If nothing else, it adds a little bit of humor to this horrible game. Horrible in a bad way. <coughs> got my throat suddenly. Then all the enemies decide to die when I'm trying to get a combo going, so I've got nine heads. Die, damn it. Yeah. It's getting kind of long here. A lot longer than I intended this to be. Hey, no jumping on Raps' head. Get over here, Mr. Inviso Man. Oh my god, make it stop! This is torture. Bad way. Ha ha. Just landed that girder on that stupid throwing shuriken throwing asshole. That was perfect. Yeah. All right, full health, and the level is sure almost suspicious. over. You think all of these trucks belong to them? If so, I wonder where all the containers loaded with artwork are. Hey, oh guys, no! Isn't that a Stolen moon? art. There's a turtle in the moon, you know. Can it, Mikey? Don't you realize where we are? Hey, what's that? Pacing on this vocal, you say she vocalization could be a lot better. Just There's like no my vocalization mistake. of words. That's for sure. it doesn't have even a Apparently, I forgot how to speak. What incredible technology! Who could have built this robot? It Who cares? Like to stop us. We'll take it on. Let's kill it. Kill it with fire. Ah, what the hell! Jesus Christ, what the hell? What the hell? I got stunned by what? It's getting ridiculous. This is like the first legitimately difficult thing besides the fucking nanobot boss fight. This friggin' bastard is just relentless. What the hell? Look at this crap. What the hell? What's even hitting? What the hell? I'm almost dead because of that. What the hell? Oh, look, the only health item I could possibly find in this entire level. It's just some lazy ass little fucking milkshake. Oh, look at that! What the 
hell? He just front countered every attack I was trying to do. And there's no possible way of dodging or blocking. What the hell? What is this crap? This is an utter crap boss. At least it's over now. Okay, really? Where am I going? Where are you taking me? To that other layer, apparently. Oh, that, that, that. How long did that take? 11 minutes for that one level? Are you shitting me? Whatever. L episode's over. Let's just move on to the next one. I will see you next time. With more of this terrible game. After this little cutscene of the game. Sorry, okay, good. We're pausing, let's go. See you later.